Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and the subscriber sent the donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, hey, what's up, Locario? So I've been seeing this chick in my school who I met at the start of the semester. Uh, she comes straight to my dorm room sometimes after class, and we'd smash. Uh, she sleep over and go back to her room the next morning. This time, she came through yesterday and said, oh, not today. I don't feel like doing it. Um, after she said that, I told her, fine by me, but if you're not going to do that, uh, you're going to have to go back to your room then. I said that because I don't want her coming over just to not do anything and waste time because I don't got time for all that goofy shit. Um, what are your thoughts on what I said? Should I kick her out nicer or be straight up like that if it happens again? All right. Well, first of all, first of all, my brother, I got to give you a hand clap. Okay, because I'm proud of you. Okay, listen, guys, this is how you're supposed to do it. Um, what, what I would say to you is, yes, you know, be nice about it. You don't want to like, uh, you know, kick a chick out of your room or whatever and be mean, but always be nice about it. But what, what I want you guys to understand is this, right, is that when you are dealing with a girl who, because this is basically like a fuck buddy situation, right? When you're dealing with a chick and it's a fuck buddy situation, you're just hooking up, you always have to keep it at hooking up. So when she comes around and says, oh, I don't feel like doing it today or, you know, oh, you know, um, like she comes over and then she's like, you know, I'm not feeling good and all that. Yeah, that's cool. But you can't be here because when you're here, we're fucking, you understand? And you have to have that, you have to set that precedent, right? Because what happens is, is that if you don't, she's going to continue to do things like this where she can get attention from you that doesn't have to necessarily be sex. You see what I'm saying? And the thing is, if you're just trying to hook up with her and that's all you're trying to do, and you don't want to just be chilling there, hanging out with her, just talking about whatever, right? You have to let her know, hey, look, if you're not going to do it, then we can't chill. You can't be here. You understand? Just straight up, like, she needs to know this. So that what happens is that if she was even thinking about, you know, hitting you up to just chill, you understand, without fucking, then she would think twice and be like, you know, this guy's not going to really be down with all that shit, right? See, I've had situations like this where I would deal with girls and they know that it's just about fucking. So what would happen is, is that there will be times where like, let's say, for example, I hit up a chick, right? And I, you know, holler at her and I'll be like, yo, you know, what's good? Like, let's, let's get together today or some shit, right? So she would say to me, hey, you know, I can't really do it today because I have my period. So, you know, do you want to meet up next week or something, right? So she already knows that our relationship is just about fucking, right? So she knows that, you know, because I already told this girl, I was like, I'm, I'm not trying to do, do you any period. I don't know some guys don't give a fuck, but, you know, it all depends. It's, if, if it's my girl and all that, I'll do her in a period, you know <laughs> But I'm just saying, with this girl, I was like, you know, I already told her, look, I'm not trying to do you in a period. So she knew I wasn't going to fuck on a period. And so she knew that there was no way we were going to be fucking. So when I hit her up, she's like, oh, um, you know, we, we, I guess we can't meet because I got my period. I was like, all right, cool. We'll meet next week. You understand? So she already knew to not say, oh, hey, let me just come over and hang out and chill. And she knew that because I already let it be known that when me and her chill is just about fucking. Right now, if you are in a like committed relationship, long term relationship, you got a girlfriend, you got a wife. You understand? There's going to be times where, of course, she's probably going to be, you know, not feeling up for sex or whatever. She's probably sick or whatever, or she, you know, she's tired or whatever. Some, some goofy shit. Now, in those situations, you can make an exception because that's your girl. You feel what I'm saying? And y'all, y'all been together, y'all chill together, y'all do other shit. That's cool. But you don't want it to become like a, a habit to where she's like, you know, trying to find excuses to to get a whole bunch of uh, attention that's that's not sexual just because you understand, because sometimes girls will end up doing that type of shit sometimes uh, because of whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Um, also, too, you got to look out for that, too, if you're in a um, monogamous relationship with a chick and she's, um, you know, bringing up let's hang out without having sex. 
um, you know, a, a lot more because that may mean she's cheating on you, but that's a whole nother story. Uh, but anyway, the thing is, is that when you're dealing with these fuck buddies, though, it should be always about sex, right? Don't have them try to guilt trip you. Don't have them try to, oh, why are you at? No, 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 right? It's just about sex. Now, there were times where I, were mess I was messing with side chicks, and for those who didn't see my other live stream, uh, check out my other live stream. I was talking about how to, uh, you know, keep side chicks and fuck buddies loyal to you. But there were times where I was messing with side chicks where our relationship was on a different thing where we would fuck, but there would be some times where we wouldn't fuck. I just we would just hang out and I, I would chill with the chick because I actually liked her company. You understand? Now. If that's the case and that's how you want to do it with the chick, that's fine. But again, what you need to do is you need to always set the precedent of what it is what you're doing with a certain chick. Now, because again, there were certain chicks who were just fuck buddies where if you are just dealing with a girl and she's a fuck buddy, that's all y'all do is fuck. So there's no reason for her to be at your house or your dorm or your wherever chilling and hanging out with you when you know you want to fuck. And she's like, oh, but I don't No, no, That's cool. You don't got to do nothing, but you can't be here. You feel what I'm saying? And so you got to let them know that that's what it is. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com